no one tells you what's going to happen. You just don't know、um, when you'll be out. Miss Wong has been in isolation for 20 days. She had mild symptoms after testing positive for COVID. Before being sent to this government-run camp, she was sent to the Asia World Expo, a convention center which was turned into a makeshift hospital with 500 beds. Miss Wong has asked us not to reveal her identity. It was a temporary, you know, hospital facility. So each bed has no doors. There you get like you know your patient badge, your barcode, and they give you meals every morning, afternoon, and night. At Penny's Bay, she was given a room, but little guidance on what to do next. It's really frustrated because, like, clearly no one tells you what's going to happen. So it's like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and our beds are actually precious. You know, with the surge in Hong Kong, it could be used for elderly or other people that are more in need. Hong Kong's hospitals and quarantine facilities are inundated as the city deals with its worst virus outbreak. Staff and patients at Penny's Bay seem to be overwhelmed. I mean, around my neighborhood, I have heard a few shoutings. You know, the the walls here are actually not that thick. All staff、um, that I've been dealt with, they have been polite, they've been friendly, but you can also hear that they are overwhelmed and also stressed out because they just don't know the answer to. The government is building more isolation centers for the public. It says the city's small and dense apartments are less than ideal for home quarantine. 在这次这么呃厉害的第五波的新冠疫情，呃，我可以说是没有一个完美的方案，呃，因为根本就不可能。The government plans to mass test the city's 7.4 million people in March, so the number of detected infections could grow. We can build many, many this kind of isolation facility, but it's down to how many medical staff and you know doctors, nurses are ready to really take care for us. It, it frustrates the patients, it frustrates the frontline staff, and it seems like there's really no good system to back up. Thank、you